This week, we're getting our scare on at Halloween Hard Nights. And then we're practicing our hatchet throwing skills at a brand new attraction. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World Village right, right now. now. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Melissa. And I'm Quinn. So if you haven't been to Epcot lately, there's lots of walls up in the mm -hmm. Future World area once you first enter the park. Yeah, they're, they're beginning its transformation into World Discovery, World Celebration, and World Nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're knocking down all those buildings on the right side where Club Cool, Starbucks, uh, Character Spot were. They're going to be gone soon. Oh, and um, the Fountain of Nations is going away as right. well. Right now, I think Mouth Gear is still open. It mm -hmm. is going to be closing for a renovation. No more Beverly mm -hmm. challenges, which is And sad. The, the character spot um, is, st is still open, but not in that location. They moved yeah. it over to um, where Wreck-It Ralph used to meet in the old uh, Innovations building, still on that side. Um, but it's just kind of the big empty area where they're the meeting the characters yeah. now. Even though there's lots of walls up, it's still the Food and Wine Festival, mm -hmm. which is so good. But so. that's mainly in the countries anyway. So. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. I Am Walt Disney is the 18th picture book in the New York Times best-selling Ordinary People Change the World series of biographies about heroes. This friendly, fun series focuses on traits kids can aspire to. This volume features Walt Disney, who makes dreams come true for himself and countless kids around the world. Get your copy wherever fine books are sold. Thinking of booking a hotel to go along with your Horror Nights trip? You can get a great deal on a room with Universal Fan Travel. To learn more about their offers and to get a free quote with no obligation, head to UniversalFanTravel.com. You can save $88 on a Universal Orlando three-day base ticket, plus get a third park free with Undercover Tourist. For more information on this and other theme park ticket offers, visit UndercoverTourist.com. The newest nighttime show to transform the wizarding world of Harry Potter, Dark Arts at Hogwarts Castle, is making its debut at Universal's Islands of Adventure this month. Guests will face all sorts of dark creatures, Death Eaters, Dementors, and even Lord Voldemort. These dark images will cloak the castle until you cast the Patronus charm. You can catch the show for yourself on select nights from September 14th through November 15th. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, it definitely looks like something different and um, I know that we're gonna have uh, some some different effects than Hollywood does, so that should be that should be really cool. I know we'll actually have Death Eaters mm -hmm. out and around in Hogsmeade, and I'm really excited for that. And I'm curious to see what elements are the same or what are what else is gonna be different from Hollywood too. Yeah, so. I haven't I haven't watched the video of Hollywood's because I was trying to wait till it came here because I figured it would, and it is coming. So Yay! Yeah. and so soon too, mm -hmm. like yeah. that's very soon. So yeah, definitely. Darkness. Walt Disney. Oh, sorry. I was Walt, Walt. feeling the darkness. Okay, go okay. ahead. Walt Disney World has announced the dates for the 2020 Epcot International Festival of the Arts. From January 17th through February 24th, guests can enjoy live concerts, art performances, workshops, art signings, and more, along with delicious and visually artistic foods. The Disney on Broadway concert series was also announced as returning. A lineup will be shared at a later date. This is my favorite festival of the year. I, I love this festival as well. I love the Broadway series. It's so, so freaking cool. The Broadway series, the art that they have all around the park, yeah. you know, the chalk on the ground. Mm -hmm. I just, I love it. Yeah, it's so cool. I, I mean, I enjoy all the festivals that Epcot does, mm -hmm. but I think this is my favorite as well. Yeah. And then they still have food too, so that's, that's the most important part of any festival. Correct, yes. <laughs> so now that Hurricane Dorian has passed, and luckily did not affect Orlando, the Walt Disney Company and Disney Cruise Line are giving more than $1 million in cash and support to help relief and recovery efforts in the Bahamas. This donation includes a $1 million do donation to the nonprofit relief agencies who will take on the recovery and rebuilding efforts, along with the provision of supplies to impacted areas including food staples, and basic construction materials. Disney is also offering their cast members in the affected areas help and resources. 
Did you see they, uh, that, that little boy that um, gave all his money yes. to the Bahamas and then they sent him to Disney World because that's yes. what he was originally going to spend I'm his money on? I'm very happy that that happened. As and they're doing as this I as saw, well. I was like, yes. And $1 million. I know a lot of other companies are also following suit, like Royal mm -hmm. Caribbean, other cruise lines. And there are also other ships that are going and helping the people that are stuck there come into the United States if they can. And it's just, it's really nice to see mm -hmm. everyone coming together to help since they do partner with the Bahamas for the cruise ships, so. Yeah, and I feel like the cruise ships are a great way to transport people because, I mean, that's that's what they're for, and right. they're so luxurious, and yeah. it's it's nice to get them out of that terrible, you know, state of living. I yeah. mean, yeah. it's... It's destroyed. Exactly. They, every they little help bit. Rebuild, you know? Every little bit helps, and now it's time to rebuild. So it's really mm -hmm. nice to see that Disney and so many other companies are are giving their share. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now Disneyland Paris has t shared a ton of exciting announcements this week related to upcoming expansions at Walt Disney Studios Park. We got new concept art for the Avengers Campus and Frozen theme lands, new details on all new Frozen Celebration event next year, and new concept art for Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, which opens next summer. Disneyland Paris also revealed the plot points for three new drop experiences at the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, which debuted later this month. You can read about all that and more now at AttractionsMagazine.com. I think it's so cool that they're doing you know, three different distinct stories for the Tower of Terror. Yeah. Have you, did you see about it? I, I haven't read about it at okay. all, no. So one of them, I believe, is like um, the little girl from the, um, I don't know if it's the same little girl, but a ghostly little girl, like, I don't know what she does. She probably like is, like, play with me or whatever. You know, that's what ghost <laughs> Creepy children Creepy little do. girl thing. Yeah, yes. and then the other one is um, some sort of um, machinery uh, monster or something, and... Um, they're kind of vague, the descriptions, but, and the last one I believe is like, it says something about the, the fifth dimension, like, I assume it's just like you're going into yeah. the. That's yeah. really cool. I have a little bit of a different experience, mm -hmm. but I, I'm. And now, um, every Tower of Terror is going to be different at each Disney park because we have That's Guardians, true. our original one, and the one in Paris, which will have three different ones wow. now. Wow. There's a lot going on over there, mm -hmm. so lots of changes, but exciting. Head to a galaxy far, far away with our commemorative summer 2019 issue of Attractions Magazine. It's finally open, we take a look inside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and show you all around this immersive new land. Talk to a few of the Disney cast members and Imagineers behind the creation and even look at the Star Wars land that never was. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com in print or digital in our app on Nook and Kindle. The fog has returned to Universal Orlando as Halloween Horror Nights is back and in full swing for its 29th year. This year's event features iconic IPs like Ghostbusters, Jordan Peele's Us, and more alongside original houses. And our reporter Banks got to experience it all firsthand. Over to you, Banks. Just keep telling yourself, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Universal Orlando for this year's Halloween Horror Nights, the 29th year of the event. They've got some great stuff like Ghostbusters, Us, Stranger Things, and even some killer clowns. Lots more also like the Lagoon Show, Academy of Villains. I can't wait to get out there into the streets and the houses, experience it all if, if I even make it out there alive. So we are heading out into the world of Halloween Horror Nights 2019. Our first house tonight is going to be Us, Jordan Peele's Us. Now, I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen the movie yet. I really want to. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So this house is going to be my introduction, basically, to this film. Probably might be some spoilers. Who knows? But I'm excited. Sure. 
All right, so we just got that out of us, and definitely a few good scares in there. I wasn't familiar with the story and what was happening in the visuals, just know the doppelgangers are attacking the people that look like them. So it was really cool, and next we want to go see the movie to see these visuals. Nice start, but there's nine more houses to go, so let's go to the next one. Next up, we're going to our first original house of the night. This is Yeti Terror of the Yukon. Now, last year at Halloween Horror Nights, there was a, sh a swamp Yeti inside the uh, Slaughter Cinema. And it was a big hit with fans, and the creative team knew that, so they gave the Yeti its own house this year. Now, this one takes place in the Yukon in Canada in the winter time, so there's many different kinds of Yetis here. I um, I used to have a big fear of like Bigfoot when I was a kid, so we're gonna see how I do on this one. Wow, that was great. There are Yetis all over that place, different sizes, different colors, a lot of victims in there. I got it good from this one Yeti up above. That was a lot of fun. I love that. They pump in the cold air in there. When you're walking from like inside a cabin to outside, you feel that temperature change. That was cool. Who are we gonna call? My most anticipated house of 2019. It's time for Ghostbusters. Let's do this. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Awesome! Seriously, Ghostbusters, probably one of my favorite houses I've ever experienced at Halloween Horror Nights. You are in the film, you hear all the iconic lines you love from the film. The imagery is just so much fun. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. All right, so next up on the house list tonight is going to be Stranger Things. Now, this is a sequel to last year's house. Last year was all about season one. This year, they've combined seasons two and three into one house. So, I'm excited. Let's go see some Demogorgons, some Demagogues, the Mind Flayer. I, maybe grab a bite to eat at the Starcourt Mall. iconic scenes from seasons two and three. The size of that mind flare at the very end in the, in the Starcourt Mall. Holy, that was huge. Wow, so cool. 
if you're a fan of Stranger Things, it's another home run for them this year at Halloween Horror Nights. Let's see what's next. Next up, we're going into Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Of course, this is a very popular scare zone last year. They brought it to life in a house this year. They already got JoJo's ice cream truck out front. You can meet some of the Killer Clowns. So, let's go. <laughs> All the fun gags and visuals from that classic 80s film brought to life. The, the giant clown the, toward the end of it, you get kind of wrapped up in cotton candy yourself. Really funny visuals in there. I highly recommend that if you're a fan of the Scare Zone from last year. Expanded in a whole new way. So we're now heading over to House of a Thousand Corpses. This is the Rob Zombie's horror masterpiece, as they call it. I, I've seen it once years and years ago. So we'll, we'll see how it is. I've heard it's pretty uh, gruesome in there. We'll find out. I'll tell you what, DJ. Why don't you just take your wild horse and kick it, and then I won't have to stuff my food all over your ass. House of a Thousand Corpses was definitely grotesque. Um, felt like there actually could be a thousand corpses in there between all the bodies and skeletons, but it's been a while since I've seen that film. Looked good. This might be the bottom of my list right now, but I think we've got some more houses to get to, so let's go. We only got about 45 minutes left of the night. Time's flying right by, so we got four more houses to do back to back to back to back. We're gonna do the Universal Monsters, we're gonna do Nightingale's Blood Pit, we're gonna do Depths of Fear, and then Graveyard Games. And Woo! I just gotta make it through the chainsaws. <laughs> Nightingales was really cool, a lot of uh, gruesome imagery in there. Got it scared a couple of times, but the smell was a little ugh. But Depths of Fear was really, really awesome. The fish creatures, are, they're, they're so detailed. There's a lot of great moments in there. Uh, a little claustrophobic at, at some points because you, you feel like you're in a submarine that's getting ready to implode. So next up, we're heading over to Universal Monsters and then rounding out the day over at Graveyard Games. Deep <laughs> 
Universal Monsters was really, really cool to see these classic monsters reimagine kind of a more modern, horrific looks to them. Graveyard Games is right up there with Yeti. It's my favorite uh, original house this year. That was a lot of fun. There was this one room toward the end, pitch black. All you hear is this audio all moving all around your head, whispering in your ears. Freaked me the, the heck out. <laughs> almost let one out and almost let a curse out. That was cool. That was a cool one. So, final rankings, I would say Ghostbusters, definitely favorite IP house. Yeti and Graveyard Games were tied for my favorite original house. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm a little on edge right now, guys. Halloween Horror Nights 2019 is now running Slick Nights through early November here at Universal Orlando Resort. Check out the dates over at AttractionsMagazine.com, plus all the videos of the houses and the shows. love most about travel is the perspective that it gives me. It's just getting a chance to see other parts of the world and other types of people and other lifestyles. I like to say it's the difference between information and expertise. Anybody can do an, an internet search and come up with lots of information. Having somebody that has been there and done that and probably bought the t-shirt and really can speak to it with authority is the big difference. MEI and Mouse Fan Travel is your expert source for no-fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no-obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. If you've ever felt like blowing off some steam, we've got one unique way to suggest. Our reporters Andy and Alyssa recently visited Stumpy's Hatchet House, which is right down the street from Walt Disney World, to practice their hatchet throwing skills. Over to you guys, and please watch where you're throwing. Hey guys, we're here today at Stumpy's Hatchet House, a social throwdown. I think we're here to throw some hatchets. We are absolutely at the bullseye. No, I said, I've done it. As an amateur, just on my own, you know. Really? No. <laughs> but I okay. see you dressed appropriately with your flannel. You know what? What? It was an accident. An accident! <laughs> Let's go inside. Okay. Slumpy's is an indoor hatchet throwing venue. Pretty much what it is, we have a bar, we have an open venue for people that like to come and have a good time. Uh, we host any type of parties, date nights, night out in the town. Anything, just have fun. Okay, now you said hatchet throwing real quick and blase. Sure. Like it's just something everyone yeah. does on their off time. Uh, tell me more about that. So the hatchet throwing, it, it's, it is a big part of what we are, but it's not all that we are. But the hatchet throwing, you pretty much you get a, one of our nice pits here, which we have eight of. We have a throwing coach that shows you how to throw the hatchet. And then we have plenty of games you can play, things you can do. So it's not just standing there and throwing a hatchet at a board. It's much more than that. So it's almost like a, like a driving range or like a yeah, bowling alley kind of thing? Yeah, darts on steroids. Darts on steroids, awesome. Yeah. Uh, so there's two different types of styles of throw. Both are gonna be overhanded. One is a one-handed throw and the other is a two-handed. So one-handed throw, you take your dominant hand, you wanna hold the hatchet down at the bottom. Then you wanna find your distance. 
pretty much, so big thing about it is the distance to the board and then the technique. You want them to have nice and tight, come straight forward and back, kind of like a Seminoles chop motion, right? And then you want to step with your less dominant foot. So it's step and throw, kind of like a baseball or football. You put your less dominant hand on the bottom, more dominant on top. Again, you want to be nice and fluid with the motion. And then you step with your less dominant foot again. So you come over your head like this, and then you want to hit the target. <laughs> I think this is going to be difficult. Oh, we're behind this. We're doing this. No, you're finding a, you find a distance. You have nice shoes. Nice job. Thank you. Look at those shoes. We are focused. <laughs> Cool. You know, next? Yeah, oh, like, no. Cool. I'm really nervous about it. <laughs> At least I hit it. <laughs> Touche. One, two. <laughs> What's up? Oh. <laughs> I did it. This is my, uh, this is my little. <laughs> we are not good at this. <laughs> I believe that's the bullseye. If you will come with me, I want to show you, for those of us who make bullseyes, what we do is we ring the bell it. officially. Why are you stealing it doesn't my bullseye? Count. Why are you stealing my bullseye? <laughs> <laughs> Satisfying noise when it, it hits. Oh, yeah. oh man! Okay, so I got I got three points, and I believe you got. It's not written down here. Yeah. Oh, that? I did Yeah. I did the flick. Oh, look at that! What's up? What's up? Yeah. You are destroying this. Bell. <laughs> that isn't as close, but we're getting it. Not sure. Look at how well she did. I'm not sure which one is um, superior, but uh, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Look at how well she did. <laughs> Did well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You think so, huh? Uh, I did get the first bullseye. That's, the best real bullseye. I did bullseye. Think get the first hit. So you did, and then and then eventually it was a while after my first and second hit. You got your second hit, so you did pretty good. Um, it was actually a lot of fun. I I did have a blast here. It um, was. Stumpy's Orlando. I'm definitely gonna come back. Are you yeah, come back? absolutely. I would. I would bring my friends nice for one. sure. Well, if you guys want to check it out, it's StumpiesOrlando.com, Stumpies with a Y, Stumpies Orlando on all social media. They're open 2 to midnight every day. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine, available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show, and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. This week's birthday shoutouts go out to David Joday, Brennan LeBlanc, Aaron Wallace, Victoria Fox, Stephen Miller, and Michelle Grace. Happy birthday, everybody! You can now get our latest videos straight to your Roku TV or streaming device with our new official Roku channel. There you'll find all our latest videos in one easy, organized place. Simply search Attractions Magazine to find and add the channel to your streaming lineup. We want to thank MEI, Mouse Fan, and Universal Fan Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. 
Give Kids the World Village is a nonprofit resort that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how to get involved, visit gktw.org. All right, so we've got Halloween Horror Nights already kicking on this end over here mm -hmm. in Orlando, and then HHN and Hollywood Preview starts tonight. Well, I, I am very excited to see um, the, the differences, you know, between uh, Hollywood and Orlando's event and uh, see uh, their original stuff this year as well. Yeah, for sure. And it is. Show. And it is, spooky season is now in full swing. Mm -hmm. It's I, everywhere. It, it is everywhere. I got, I went to Mickey's Not So Scary the other night, had a great time, been, I was able to go to Halloween Horror Night, so I definitely feel like uh, I'm in the season now, so. Yeah, and we got another month and a half of it. Yes, yes we do. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have fun. And be spooky. Ooh. I see your mark here, right in the center. Yes, no, you did a great oh, job. Oh, no, I'll just, oh, man, I did good. Okay, we're gonna edit that together so it looks yeah. like she, okay. What you do is you step forward, you like, you slam it in, and then Banks does it backwards, and you walk away like, oh, I'm walking up to it. And then you, <laughs> this one looked about eye level. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't see where that went, and I got scared for a second. <laughs> Alright, so this carefully orchestrated blooper to show you what not to do demonstrates, stop laughing at me, Banks. Demonstrates eye levels. Stop laughing at me, everyone. <laughs>